Time for lunch in the Chimfunchi Wildlife Orphanage in northwest Zambia. More and more chimpanzees are gathering in the trees close to the feeding station. The staff here prepare meals for the apes twice a day. Innocent Molenga heads up the Chimfunchi Reserve. He's known some of the chimps since he was a child. Ah, no, 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 not you. The food is served at the station at the edge of the forest. The system is designed to make sure all of the animals are fed. We feed them in such a house because we want to separate the males from the females and the young ones because the males are dominant and they always want to eat everything. So this is why we separate them. Aside from the feeding times, the chimps live just like their counterparts in the wild. The fence encloses around 150 hectares, much of it undisturbed rainforest. The fence is there to protect the animals from humans. Poachers are the chimps' worst enemy. The core idea really is um, uh, for these chimps to have uh, a good home. Uh, this is why we have got all these big enclosures for them. Like in here, we've got 47 of them. And uh, we are there to provide protection for them because in the wild, they are hunted heavily. But they're safe as long as they stay inside the Chimfunchi enclosures. Back in the forests they originally inhabited, the animals wouldn't survive long. Most of the chimpanzees at Chimfunchi come from uh, Congo, which is uh, like 18 kilometers from here. But in Congo, there's lawlessness there, there are wars there, and so these chimpanzees are prone to poachers and people that deal in bushmeat trade. The Chimfunchi Wildlife Orphanage was set up in 1983 by a farming couple. A German entrepreneur later took over financing. Today, his family continues to ensure that the people here also profit from the project. For example, with a school for the children of the sanctuary's employees. Good morning, class. We've got our workers here that work for the chimps, and really there is no school anywhere near. So in 2007, we built this school so that their children can have a decent education. Chimfushi is not just about chimpanzees, but also about the humans, and this is why this project is looking at helping the children get the required education. That costs money, which is why the project recently bought a nearby farm. On its grounds, fruit and crops are harvested to help feed the chimps, while cattle are raised to provide income. Talita Kaiwi also helps take care of the animals at Chimfunchi. She's Brazilian and has been living and working here for two years. Though she does farm work, she's actually here for the chimps. She's grown very fond of the animals. We need to take opportunities like this of doing an enrichment or offering something different to be able to see all of them, to have a good eye on it, to check for who is coughing, who is sneezing, who is losing weight. The animals aren't forced to interact with humans if they don't wish to. The idea is to let them live lives as free as possible from human interference. But some chimps need help and attention. Chiffon has a complicated past. Like the other chimp in his cage, he was unable to integrate into one of the bands here. Talita spends as much time with him as she can. Where are you going? Where are you going? I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. <laughs> Chiffon is a former pet. He was with a family for very long, so he doesn't really know how to fit in the chimp family, how to behave like a proper chimp. He has the need to be with people and also to have some kind of interactions. Chiffon's group is slated to get its own large outdoor enclosure in the coming months, just like the other chimpanzees that have found a new home at the Chimfunchi Wildlife Orphanage. <laughs>